Sarah, if you could uh, be someone else for a day, someone alive today, who alive you haven't today. met yet, who haven't met yet, or maybe you could do one who you've met, who would it be? Kim Kardashian. Kim. <laughs> no joke. The woman's brilliant. I yeah, would just like brilliant. to experience, like, I just, I think she's got such an interesting uh, and very deep understanding of social reality. But you you also said you have a appreciation, a love for fashion. I do. Well. But that, but that's actually the same. Like, I just think it's really interesting because we live in a social reality which is completely artificially constructed, and some people are really genius about moving through that. And I think she's particularly good at. It. I wonder if she's good at understanding or if she's. Just... I think it's very deeply intrinsic to her, so I don't right. know if she how much she's like surfing away how much cognitive awareness she has of it or how strategic it is. But I think it's deeply fascinating. So I guess that's the first one that comes to mind. Uh, what about you, Lee? If you could be somebody. For a day. I, Don't say I, Yosha Bach. <laughs> Don't say Kim Kardashian. <laughs> yeah, right. Those two off the table. <laughs> off the table. <laughs> no, I was going to say I would like to I'd like to be a, a, a. Does that have to be here today? I was going to say I'd, I'd I'd like to be um, uh, the latest um, uh, ARM processor. <laughs> oh, it could be a, uh, I would like to be the latest ARM processor. I'd like to understand what I would like to know what it feel like to basically. Um, you like being objects. I like being. Ob I've always obsessed with being objects ever since I was a kid. What's the best part of being an arm processor for a day? I mean, I'd like to understand how I access my memory, what it anticipates coming next in clock cycles. What about how it feels like? Yeah, I want to know how it feels like yeah, to be to be useful. To be. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> thanks for that. <laughs> 